Once you dive into the world of cybersecurity, it becomes clear that there are many certifications to choose from. Some of these are relatively easy to obtain, while others are known to be extremely challenging. The difficulty of these exams basically depends on few things, like how much you know, how much time you put into studying, and the hands-on experience you have in the field. Some people breeze through the toughest certification without breaking the sweat, while others might struggle with them. But here's the thing, it's really hard to rank how difficult a certification is because testing organizations don't always share the pass rates for their exams. Despite this, there is plenty of talk in the industry about which certification is the hardest one. So based on the discussions and insight from cybersecurity experts, we have put together a list of eight most challenging cybersecurity certification. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before I move on, just a quick info, guys. Simply Learn has got CISSP certification, which means Certified Information System Security Personal Training, where you will be officially certified to design, engineer, and manage organizational security. You will also enhance cybersecurity skill with our globally acclaimed CISSP certification training. You will gain both technical and managerial knowledge to design, engineer, and manage the organizational security. The curriculum is based on ICSC2 version 2024 CISSP exam pattern. You will receive a CISSP exam voucher as a bonus and you can also elevate your career with this. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, the first certification in our list is, in the decreasing order that we have, is AWS Certified Security Speciality. Our list basically begins with the AWS Certified Security. This specialty certification is a must-have for cloud security professionals. This certification focuses on especially security in the Amazon Web Services cloud environment. In this certification, you will learn about AWS security concepts like the shared responsibility model, data protection, and secure internet protocols. You will also cover topics like identity and access management, incident response and infrastructure security. The exam itself lasts for 170 minutes and consists of 65 multiple choice and multi-response questions. While there are no official prerequisites for this certification, it's recommended that you have at least five years of experience in designing and implementing IT security solutions and two years of hands-on experience with AWS. Most candidates who attempt these exams usually have the other AWS certification under their belt, such as the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. AWS Associate also works, and also the AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional. These certifications basically provide a strong foundation in the AWS concepts, making the AWS Certified Security Speciality kind of easier to tackle. But still, it's a tough exam and passing it will make you a valuable asset to any organization that uses AWS. Now, let us move to the next one. The next one we have is CompTIA Advanced Security Professional Practitioner Certification or CASP+. So guys, this is one which is aimed at cybersecurity professionals who work at more advanced level. The CASP+, focuses on enterprise security, risk management, and security operations. The exam itself consists of maximum of 90 questions and you have 165 minutes to complete it. It covers basically four main areas, security architecture, security operations, security engineering, and cryptography. Also, it covers governance, risk, and compliance. Each area requires you to have a deep understanding of complex topics, making this exam quite comprehensive. The CSP Plus is often compared to the Certified Information System Security Professional or CISSP certification exam. And it is an alternative for certain US Department of Defense roles. If you are aiming for a career in the government cybersecurity, then this could be the certification for you. Now let us move on to our next certification. So guys, our next certification is GIAC Certified Incident Handler Certification or GCIS certification. This is for those candidates who are focused on incident handling and response. The GIAC Certified Incident Handler is a key certification. 
With cybersecurity threats becoming more sophisticated, the ability to handle incidents effectively is very critical. This certification teaches you how to respond incidents, investigate computer crimes, and understand common hacks and exploits. The GCIS exams include 106 questions and last for four hours. You will need to have score at least 70% to pass the certification exam. It is a certification that's perfect for people working on the front lines of cybersecurity, such as system administrators, security experts, and security architects. This certification will give you a hands-on experience with tools like Nmap, Metasploit, and Netcat, which are basically used to carry out some of the most common hacks. So if you are a part of first response team in the cybersecurity, then this certification will be extremely useful for you. Now, let us move to our next certification. That is CISM or Certified Information Security Manager Certification. So guys, the Certified Information Security Manager Certification is highly valued for those aiming to move into leadership roles within the cybersecurity. It is specifically focusing on the management side, making it ideal for professionals who want to lead and govern an organization's information security program. Rather than diving deep into the technical aspects, CISM is all about managing the overall security infrastructure, accessing risk, and also implementing policies that ensure security at the organizational level. To earn the CISM certification, candidates must have at least five years of work experience in the field of information security, with at least three years of those as an information security management role. The exam is going to test your knowledge in the four key areas information security governance, risk management, information security program, and incident management. This ensures that you are well versed in both designing security systems and managing them within a real world business environment. The exam consists of 150 multiple choice questions and the candidates are given four hours to complete it. The scoring system is based on a scale of 200 to 800 and you will need to achieve at least 450 to pass this exam. This means that not only do you need to be well prepared, but you will also need to manage your time efficiently to complete all the questions within the allocated time. Although guys, the CISM focuses more on the management side than the technical cybersecurity. The experience required to even sit for these exams makes it one of the most challenging certification exams to earn. You will need to demonstrate your ability to assess risk, develop comprehensive security strategies, and manage a security program in a business context. For those aiming for higher level of management role, this is a must have certification that you should go for. Now, let us move to our next certification. That is Certified Information Security Professional Certification. The CISSP certification is often considered the gold standard in the field of information security. It is one of the most respected and recognized certifications worldwide both in the private sector and within the government institutions. If you are aiming to establish yourself as a serious cybersecurity professional, then the CISSP can be a career-defining certification. The CISSP is designed for experienced professionals who create and manage security policies and procedures. It's not an entry-level certification, but it also requires a high degree of expertise and experience. To even qualify for the exam, you need to have at least five years of relevant work experience in the field of information security. If you have a four-year degree in a related field, you can reduce the work experience requirement to four years. But this still leaves a substantial barrier to entry. The exam itself is not easy feat. Okay, so it uses basically computerized adaptive testing format and can range from 100 to 150 questions, which you must complete in three hours. The questions are drawn from eight different domains covering a wide range of topics from security and risk management to security operations. To pass this exam, you need to score at least 700 out of 1000 points. So guys, passing the exam is just the first step. After earning your CISSP, you need to maintain it by completing 120 hours of continuing professional education in CPE every three years and paying an annual fee of $135. This commitment to ongoing education ensures that the CISSP holders stay current in a rapidly evolving field. The difficulty of the certification lies not only in the challenging exam itself, but also in the preparation. Many candidates spend up a year studying for this exam, and those who don't meet the experience requirements 
can still take the exam. But they will be classified as an ISC2 associate until they gain the requisite experience. Once you have earned the CISSP, you will be well positioned for advanced role in cybersecurity. So whether you are aiming to be a security manager, auditor or consultant. Now let us move to our next security certification. So our next certification is CCIE security or Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert Security Certification. This is known for its incredibly challenging process. It's widely recognized as one of the most prestigious certifications in the field for the network security professionals. And the number of individuals who hold the certification globally is quite small, around 4,000 as of now. The certification commands respect because of the depth of the knowledge required and the difficulty of the exam. The CCIE security certification requires candidate to pass two exams. First, a written qualification exam implementing operating Cisco Security Core Technologies or SCOR 35701. And the second is an eight hour lab exam. The lab portion of the exam is where many candidates struggle and it's designed to test your ability to secure real world networks in a hands-on environment. You will need to configure and troubleshoot a series of complex networks using Cisco Core Security Technologies. The lab exam is grueling, lasting an entire workday and testing not only your technical knowledge, but also your ability to work under pressure. It's designed to simulate the real life scenarios where quick thinking and problem solving are very, very essential. So guys, passing this exam is a massive achievement and the CCIE security certification is highly sought after by employers. Due to the difficulty of both written and lab exams, the CCIE security certification is generally aimed at high experienced professionals who have extensive knowledge of Cisco technologies. So guys, for those who are looking to specialize in network security and are prepared for rigorous challenge, the CCIE security certification career can be a very defining achievement for your next role. Now, let us move to our next certification, which is Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification or OSCP. For those interested in penetration testing, Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification is one of the most respected and challenging certifications available. The OSCP is unique because it focuses on practical, hands-on skill rather than just theory. During the exam, candidates must hack into a series of virtual machines to demonstrate their ability to exploit vulnerabilities and securing systems. The exam itself lasts 23 hours and 45 minutes with an additional 15 minutes of proctoring. Candidates are given access to a virtual environment where they must identify vulnerabilities, exploit them and then provide detailed reports on how they did it. To pass this, you need to score at least 70 points out of 100. So guys, before taking this exam, candidate must complete the penetration testing Kali Linux or PEN 200 course, which teaches them the necessary skills for the OSCP exam. This course is intensive covering topics such as buffer overflows, web application attacks, and privilege escalations. It is designed to prepare candidates for real world penetration testing scenarios which makes the OSCP one of the most hands-on certifications available. So guys, let us move to our next certification, which is GIAC Security Expert Certification. At the top of our list is the GIAC Security Expert Certification, which is often described as most difficult certification to earn in cybersecurity. As early of the 2024, fewer than 300 professionals worldwide held the GCAC certification which speaks to the difficulty and the prestige. The GSC certification requires candidate to pass a challenging multiple choice exam, submit a research paper, and complete two day hands-on lab exam. The lab portion is where most candidates struggle as it tests your ability to apply advanced cybersecurity concepts to secure and defend systems in real world scenarios. Maintaining the GSC certification is no small task either. GIAC requires certified professionals to regularly update their skills and go through a rigorous renewal process. This makes the GSC not only tough to earn but also tough to keep. However, for those who do, it's a symbol of expertise and dedication to cybersecurity. So guys, these were some of the top 8 toughest cybersecurity certification which one can pursue for. And we all know that there's no doubt that the demand for cybersecurity professionals is growing and certifications are one of the great way to prove your skills. 
So we covered eight of the toughest cybersecurity certification, which you can pursue, each with its own set of challenges. So guys, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope so, you would have liked it. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.